uh, you know, breaking news coming in uh, when uh, the when we talk about uh, the uh, airlines, they've gone on to say that they will uh, provide full refund or complimentary rescheduling uh, to another date uh, as far as those passengers who have been affected uh, by uh, this. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, just go across to my colleague Vishnu, who's joining us. Uh, Vishnu, a section of the cabin crew has uh, reported a sick, and we're talking about 300 senior cabin crew members, a very last minute, uh, you know, uh, 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 sick leave that has been asked by 300 cabin crew members. So this is a crisis in Air India Express. Let's be very clear about it. 78 flights have been cancelled off Air India Express since last night. This includes domestic flights and also uh, international flights. Remember, Air India Express is part of uh, the Tata Group, um, along with Air India and Vistara and what used to be uh, Air Asia India. So it's a gigantic, it's part of a gigantic airline, as it were. But as we understand it, uh, at some stage last night and perhaps going into this morning, senior flight crew started calling in sick and then switched off their mobile phones. Uh, the management of the airline is trying to get through to them. But if you've got 300 senior cabin crew going uh, off the phone and reporting sick, not just in one place, but across the country, uh, then, you know, obviously the airline is in a situation where they cannot operate flights. Um, and therefore, uh, there is this entire crisis in the airline now. The airline, in a statement, has said that they will try and help guests impacted by the cancellations. Ref refunds will be offered, complimentary rescheduling. But uh, if you just take a look at, uh, you know, the fact that each Boeing 737 MAX aircraft that Air India Express operates, or there are a couple of A320s as well, if, if each aircraft operates about 150 odd um, passengers or can take approximately 150 odd passengers, you've got 77 flight cancellations and the number of passengers potentially impacted by this is absolutely huge. Obviously, not every flight is 100% booked out. Now, we've reached out to the management of the airline to try and get a statement. They are uh, firefighting the situation. But I think the larger issue is that this comes just weeks after uh, another crisis in the airline sector, again, involving the Tata Group, which was uh, with Vistara, when lots of pilots didn't show up for work, uh, impacting operations. Uh, but that, that has somewhat been resolved now with uh, a change in the uh, rostering of pilots, one of the demands which was made. Um, but if we talk about Air India Express now, what are the problems? Apparently, there is a new um, policy or there are a series of new policies or terms of employment which have been introduced, uh, greater accountability for cabin crew members. Um, these are a couple of issues, a, a merit-based system of promotions. This is These are norms which perhaps didn't exist in the past. They exist now. It's part of this gigantic transformation uh, of the airline. Uh, that's what apparently uh, these cabin crew members have problems with. So that's preliminary information at this stage. But clearly, the, the people suffering most are passengers. 77 flights cancelled is a very large number indeed. Right. Uh, Vishnu, if you could take us through some of the routes. I mean, it is uh, pan-India, but some of the routes that have been impacted. Many passengers have taken to social media complaining about the sudden cancellation of uh, flights. Are the passengers being informed way in advance, especially given the fact that this took place late last night? But uh, given the fact, has the situation changed this morning? I mean, uh, they have put out a, a message saying that they will get a full refund or a rescheduling uh, of the flight. But are they being informed in time? 77 flights would be a large majority of uh, of flights operated uh, by uh, Air India Express. I'm not aware of the specific routes, but uh, that would likely include all of the major routes that Air India Express operates on. Remember, this airline also operates uh, internationally and several routes uh, in the Middle East as well. Uh, but uh, presumably, the airline would be reaching out through SMS. All of us get flight cancellation notifications. That will happen as well. And they've come out with this statement saying that guests impacted by cancellations will be offered a full refund, complimentary rescheduling. Guests flying with us today are requested to check if their flight is affected before heading to the airport. So that's a straightforward uh, sort of uh, indicator to passengers that, look, please be very careful before. Please reach out to us before you, you get uh, get on to or come to the airport. Um, uh, just a few other parts of, of their statement. While we are engaging with the crew to understand the reasons behind these occurrences, our teams are actively addressing the issue to minimize any inconvenience. But this is a situation which will take a long time to uh, be sorted out. One of the ways in which the airline, Air India Express, could try and sort out the issue is by reaching out to airlines within the group. That's Air India uh, and uh, also Vistara and trying to see if passengers uh, on Air India Express flights can be accommodated on flights on Air India 
and on Vistara, but that would possibly mean deployment of additional Air India and Vistara aircraft. You know, the process of integrating these airlines uh, is still not entirely complete.